What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. 93, aka That White Cracker 93, aka Zombie Boss 93. This is your boy, Life 69 Alright. Plant Killer, etc. Alright. Couple right. things happen. First of all, this is Jack Swagger and Alberto Del Rio's debut here. The pretty ironic part is I actually didn't realize that they're gonna fight at WrestleMania. So this is like a WrestleMania preview, you can say. That's the first thing. Second thing is we have the uh, SmackDown results for March 29th, 2013. And we we did all right, I guess, because, you know, like you didn't play town in a while. We got 37 on town. I know we could do better, but for now we'll stick with it. So right now I'm retiring from town. I gameplay later. Maybe next week or something. So whenever you're ready, you know, you have the results. All right. Hold on, dude. I got to ask you a couple questions real quick. All right. All right. First question is, is uh, explain to explain to them what happened today, real quick, just real quick. What happened today? Oh my! All right. Wait. All right. So we were playing, we were playing multiplayer, and we, you know, obviously we had the whack team. You know, never fails when it's a two on nine assault. You know, so the shield was in their favor, and then that was round one. Though round two started, and then that's it. Tryhard's like Joey. I'm pissed. I'm going to get you everything you want. Watch. So five seconds later, an orbital came out of nowhere. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Then after that, I, I thought it was over. And then then low came out of nowhere. And then after that, a swarm came out of nowhere. I'm like, damn, is that all you? And then he didn't really say this, but he he should have said to me, oh, you didn't know? I'm like, nope. But, you know, it, it was crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> back, to the, back to the results. All right. So nine days, you know, before WrestleMania, The Rock finally decides to, you know, to appear. You know, Rock, Rock thinks he's so nice now. He can come when he wants. So he comes back, and he explains the origin of his catchphrase, kicking your candy ass. And it, it originated in Hershey. Whatever that was. Hershey, I think Her, I think he brought me Hershey World. It, it, was during a, it, was, it was during, like, a special SmackDown edition. You know what I'm saying, Joe? It was, like, I think he called this story time with Rock. Uh, so that's where that catchphrase, you know, came out. And then, can you believe your your man right here, the creator of the RKO, Diamond Cutter, etc., John Laurinaitis came out, Big Johnny, bitch, and Big Johnny started giving head to Rocky, started giving the good head to you. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be in your corner, you know, screw Cena, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then the Rock just gave him a people's elbow, and that's it. Yeah. For free. Yeah. And then it was Chris Jericho versus Wade Barrett, you know, going back and forth. And, you know, the the boss, the Miz, was joining, joined like, the announce team, like he always does, you know, talk shit. <laughs> and, you know, he they, they all got, like, I guess they all got, like, with each other, started talking shit to each other. And Y2J took advantage and hit him with, like, a code breaker to win. And then right before, right before, uh, right when he won the, the thing, you know, the match, your boy. Come on, Joey, say it. All right, all right. Fun. Done. Go. He was going to come into the ring to, to sneak up on Chris Jericho. But Chris Jericho turned around in time, and he's like, all right. You know, WrestleMania starts early. I'm over here. Well, you want to tell him who, who, who he is real quick, I guess? You know, for those of them that don't know. All right, I'll let you do it because you don't want that fun loud. All right, now, I actually didn't notice myself, but, fuck, duh, go. It's Johnny Curtis, last year's NXT winner. I did not know that. I really did not. One of my coworkers told me. I, to be honest, I didn't know. I'm like, damn, for real? Because I didn't notice either. Well, I, well, well this actually makes sense. Biggie Langston won NXT now, and I didn't know they made a title for that. And he has the title. He's the champion. But I asked my coworker, how come he hasn't come out with it? He's like, well, he's allowed to. It's WWE material. You're allowed to come out with that title. But I, I apparently he doesn't want to. I don't know why. You know, it'll make him look nice, you know, with the title. NXT Championship. But whatever, you know, you, you can continue. Anyway, you know, Paul Heyman came out to talk shit, like always. Saying how Triple H's career or image or whatever looked, it was going to be terrible after... You know, Brock Lesnar's done because he's like, 
the, the game made two huge mistakes, which was to challenge him intellectually and to challenge Brock Lesnar physically. You know, he, he's like, you're going to lose either way. So, by and then he's like, by agreeing, you know, to the no holds bar and the retirement thing, he's going to make Triple H look bad. And we're gonna make him not, and gonna make sure he never looks like a leader. <laughs> Pretty much what he said. And then you know Mark Henry and Ryback, you know, I guess they were taking lessons from your boy David Atunga, taking some heavy duty cream team. <laughs> they broke the 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 bench press record. He he lifted 225 pounds, 53 times. Each of them. That. What happened? What each of them did that? He did it. And then Ryback fi- oh, did Oh, Henry. What? Well, Mark Henry did it first? Yeah, and then Ryback did it. Damn. And then... <laughs> right when Ryback was going to break the record, uh, uh, Mark Henry pushed the bar all the way down so he wouldn't break, break it. <laughs> and th- th- this is hilarious. They, they, they were about to fight because, you know, uh, bro, uh, Ryback was getting choked. But, you know, ma- magically Booker T was able to stop it. Magically. Wow. Magically. And then it was Daniel Bryan and Caitlyn. And they defeated Dolph Ziggler and AJ Lee. Damn. I'm pretty sure it's going to be AJ Lee versus Caitlyn in, uh, in WrestleMania. You know what I mean? Yeah, for Divas title probably most yeah. likely. Who do you think is going to win that? I don't know. Well, it depends. If Dolph Ziggler is at her corner, most likely Adrian's going to win. For real? Probably. But then again, Caitlyn, Caitlyn's a beast with the spear. She learned from Goldberg. So, you know, that spear is devastating. You get speared by her, good night. So. Well, well, anyway, you know, they started fighting each other outside, Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan. I'm just going to sit together. And, uh... You know, they tagged in because, you know, I guess female and female need to be tagged in to fight each other. Yeah. And she was waiting. She was waiting like Goldberg to, for uh, her to come in. <laughs> and then guess what? You know what happens next. She got speared. <laughs> AJ Lee. And that's it. Got speared. Oh, that a fucking resurrection. My bad. Oh, my God. The guitar. And then the Shield talked about their opponents not standing a chance. You know, they were talking shit from a location that, you know, they did, I guess they didn't want Sheamus and Big Show and Randy Orton to know that, you know, where they were. You know, they were talking so much shit saying about how they had no no chance. You know, like Mr. McMahon, no chance. Oh, man, Mr. McMahon? He's here? Yep. No chance. It was hard. And then it was the great Kali versus Jack Swagger, which ended in a double count out. As they started fighting outside, and then he put a... Kali in like a what's it called like like in a Patriot lock right that's the name of it yeah and then you know he just kept them outside in that in the Patriot lock that's why wow. yeah, kind of and then Ro- Ricardo Rodriguez stopped it and then <laughs> your boys then your boys the anti shield Sheamus Randy Orton and Big Show or like you like to say the what's it called well what I call them the name that the, what they named them the 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 apex what? Well, or, that, that. well, this is only applying to Sheamus and Randy Orton, the Celtic Vipers. I didn't make it up though. They said on Twitter someone made it up for them. Yeah. And then um, yeah, this, this, this was just too easy, you know. The, the Big Show and, and all of them they said they RKO Damian Sandow. They hit the bro kick on Rhodes. You know, it was over, and then, then they knocked out. Antonio Cesaro with a with a I KO. Oh bad, yo! To the fucking resurrection. I saw that part. That's it. And they pinned him. That's it. It was a rock for him. And that's it. That's Mike though. Well, the video's halfway over. Yo. Yo, boss. Yo, how how was? Tell them about town, yo. Tell them about town. I right, I right, first of all, all credit goes to Al Pacino. This town like a great big pussy. Waiting to get fucked. Yo, yo, talent is fake, man. Unbelievable what I saw. I think I had like five downs by fakeness. Fuck, I, I kind of trapped myself. Oh, no, real with a fucking pile drive out of nowhere. What the fuck? Trying to fucking distract me. Yo, how dare you, Dario? I'm, I'm not done talking. All right. Oh, my God. Now, power bomb. Oh, oh Batista oh, bomb. Batista bomb. bomb. <laughs> the fan. I didn't know. 
Now I know. I, I, he's a Batista fan. I didn't know that. Damn. Yeah, but town, town was crazy. We had to spam MP5, pack a punch that. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's all right. Though. I don't really mind. You know, MP5 is a badass weapon. But if it had more ammo capacity, then you know I would love to use it. Ray gun, no ammo. That was fun. Yep. <laughs> we pack a punch it each round 35. So I think that's a really like more than average round that to pack a punch. Cause everyone else packs a you know pack a punches it like before 30. So, should I tell him about the clan battle that I recorded? Uh, yeah. If you want to keep him informed, why not? All right. I told Joey I was inviting Joey to the clan battle, but he wasn't on. That's so I, I I showed Joey a, a dirty technique, Joey. Why don't you tell him real quick before I explain what happened? Okay. Should I tell him the map too, or or just the gun? The map and the gun. All right. The map plaza on um, it's where everyone snipes and then you know you can look at B from a distance and you have the MK 48 46 whatever it's called the, the mono combat weapon um, and uh, it's uh, you use a uh, suppressor and um, dual band yeah I did not know dual band was dirty I did, I did not know that because I didn't know this when when they throw a smoke you can still see them because you know it's uh, night vision or whatever so everything's red you know, and you see him in red. And, you know, it has, like, a cross and then a dot in the middle. So that's it. You know, perfect aim. My aim sucks, but, you know, if I... You know, I, I didn't know if you spray with it, it's like an ACR. I didn't know that. It's fucking straight as fuck. But, you know, sometimes I tap it just in case my aim, you know, my aim is bad. That's a dirty fucking gun. Fucking dirty ass gun. But anyway... All right, he explained all that. So what I did in the in the in the CB, I got I swarmed these niggas. My team was losing by like 40, 30 points, and I swarmed them. Cause Joey knows when he plays with me, the swarms come out of nowhere. Yeah, they're unpredicted. You, you can't predict it. And the whole other team's like, how the fuck you got a swarm? I'm like, I'm a boss. Man, I'm Jack dying. here is spamming the same move. He's doing the CM Punk right here. I know your boy CM. Yo, Swagger, come on. Again? The third <laughs> time. He's not done. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh, Roman Reigns right here. Roman fucking Reigns. Good night. Don't come back. Damn. Yo, we're getting close to your favorite matches coming up. We're so fucking close. Next week, most likely, they'll be able to see one of them at least. Oh, yeah, but, but what about with the infinite predictions? Oh, uh, well, we could do it in one of those matches because they're like 30 minutes each. Yep. So we'll do all the predictions in one video. All WrestleMania 29 predictions. I don't know. All videos? Well, we could do... Well, all right. How about this? How about we find out how many matches and we do half each video? So we get... Right, how about this? I got, I got a good idea. For all the, the, you know, the not important, but like the minor matches... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We do a video. Major title matches. We do a video. And then the the whole thing. You know, our thoughts on the whole thing. All right. You got to remind me. We'll do one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and then one on Friday. Yeah. That's for Smack. But that, we'll do it just Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday before WrestleMania. All right. And then Sunday, we'll just do the results at night or whenever when you ever get home. Yeah. Because you got to work. That sucks. The video's like four minutes left. Four or five minutes. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. On the steps? Almost. Only Kurt Angle li likes to do it on the steps. He he doesn't he doesn't care about hurting his opponent. <laughs> Man. See, if that was Kurt Angle, there would have been another suplex. Oh, goodness. That was real. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's not done. I like this Del Rio when he was a heel. Yeah, now he's just not. I don't know. I don't like his new gimmick. Me neither. 
feel bad for the steps, yo. They got hurt in this match. Well, there go the steps. Well, the steps had fun. They left. Like, fuck you guys. Oh, kick out at one. Yeah, well, if, if anything, you know, this, you know, this was just a regular match, but you know, this was a debut match for both gentlemen over here. So, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll find out who wins in a little bit. Swagger's turn with the steps. Oh, goodness, he was fucking spying. You know, calm down. Damn. Oh, the ref. <laughs> oh yeah, we also should tell them that we adjusted the overall for the creative character. So. Yeah, yeah, it's to make. I don't know, hundreds too much. <laughs> too cheap. Yeah, so we have no one on the roster that's 100. Because, you know, that's not the point. Yeah, because when we first got Goldberg, he had 100 everything. Yeah, I can't wait till they see Goldberg. You're going to see Goldberg. There's a lot of them they're going to see. Swagger with the fucking steps. Calm the fuck down. If I remember correctly, I think this match was a number one contender match, I think, as well. If I'm yeah. So, debut match and number one contenders match for the full title. Oh, Del Rio! Oh! Cross armbar, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, shit. What the? I like it. I guess it's only Chris Van Wall that it's over with. Yeah. He locks that in, it's a wrap for you. You're gone, you're not living. Crippler crossface, you're not living, I feel bad. Oh my goodness, the steps. Come on. Wait a minute, where the hell did they get the steps? I don't know, I didn't even look. Oh yeah, Swagger brought it in before. Oh, what the fuck? Back and forth with the step. Oh, and Swagger pulled a Swagger. That's what I call a Swagger, because only Swagger did that. He, he fucking charges at you while you have the steps in your hands and you get hit with them. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I gotta start saying this. You can only catch this and more. And Joey Jr. 93's copy of WW13. Put that in there. Fucking swagger over here. Oh, goodness. Swagger bomb? Ah, oh, I thought he had a swagger bomb. Oh, it's over. Yep. Magic. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a fake fucking win. Wow. A fucking, fucking suplex. Are you kidding me? Ah. That's the signature. That's why. I guess. Oh. Hey. I would have been good if it was a swagger bomb. Oh. It's, it's better than a punk. Yeah. Damn. Well, here's your winner. You think you're Ron Simmons now? Yep. Here's your winner, the old American American, or what, what he calls himself now, the real American, Jack Swagger. So, it, this might happen in WrestleMania, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty ironic. That's one of the matches. Damn. But this video is coming to an end. We hope you guys liked the video. This is Joey Junior 93, aka you know it already. That's like 69. Show. Off. Oh.